I think it's a newer one. The pull tab. Corona. It's an iron signal. Foil. Hmm. Crush pull tab. Hmm. It's another Corona. Just say no alcoholic beverages. All right. Back at the Santa Fe Dam today, and uh, just pulled a dime. Keep hunting. All right, finally got something else besides uh, pennies and dimes. Found the key right there. Fairly new key, but it's different than a penny or a dime. Check you later. It's one that I don't know if you can see it. Nickels are always interesting. I can't read it. Can't be that old. And right next to the nickel. First quarter of the day. This is 1977, but I can't read it. Well, it's like a beat up think penny. We'll keep going. First, there's uh, you know, aluminum signals all over the place, so everything shows up as a nickel. And it's an actual nickel. Can't read the date of it though. I'm assuming it's not very old. Could say 50, I don't know. I'll check it out. If there's anything good, I'll show it to you later. I like this one. There's a round coin in there somewhere. Just a regular Lincoln, which I just lost. Oh, well. Oh, it's the best thing I've found yet today. I don't know if you can see it. Just a quarter. Sometimes quarters make me happy. That's nah, quite a quarter. Nothing that great. 
we'll take it. I keep on something here. Ah. A quarter. Oh, well, that was exciting. It wasn't a bottle cap. Gonna keep on. Some Peking duck. Oh, the dog. I think it's a beaver. He's going after the duck. <laughs> As I said, I'm always surprised when I get a nickel signal and it's actually a nickel right there I just got a straight 80 on the AT Pro and uh, I think a consistent 80 is no good and this is why Because it'll come up a dime. See? It's a clad dime every time. 1976. Thought for sure I was looking at a Corona. Um, Heineken bottle cap. <laughs> All right, here Here's it is again. The next it was uh, 81 82. Well, this might be good because it's deeper than. Wait, there it is. Okay. So let's see. Oh. Here you go. This one, uh, it's a Lincoln. in there so that one came up higher than the uh, the penny came up higher than the dime that was in the last hole I don't know why now this one jumped from uh, 77 to 82 This is a penny, and it's copper, it's 1980. Alright, this one was jumping 75 to 78. and pull tab. I think it's an older one. Oh, I don't know why I threw that in a good bag. I don't know what this ground cover is, but I'll try to put it back the best way I can. So that was interesting. 
Okay, this one's going 87, 88. It should really be a quarter, but my guess is it's not. My guess would be we're looking at Heineken, Corona, Stella Artois, or this, whatever this is. I could have been setting it off. It's some sort of... Um, something like some sort of charm let's check that out later let's see if there's something still here doesn't look like it so that looked like it was uh, that was that some junk jewelry I guess that's better than a bottle cap yep Not going off anymore. Okay. We will check you at the next stop. I just found, found this. The heck is that? Looks silver. I see. Oh. Comes up at eighty. to clean that up and see what that is. That is that is a trip. What is that? I'll clean it up to you and show it to you later, huh? Cool. So uh I'm back at Newport Beach today because I know how you guys love the beach and the surrounding scenery. <laughs> And I found this down there. Okay, well then. Let's see what else we can find. Here in Nevada. Here in Nevada. I think I see it. Tarnish quarter. Nineteen seventy five. Okay. Now here's a good weird find for the beach. I had the uh, dug up the receipt and in the receipt can see the copper mark is 
1954 wheat penny. It's an unusual find for the beach. Uh, last time I was here, I found a 1949 nickel. Newport Beach, Henry's Grocery. He got, um, must have got some change. There it is. Quarter at the beach. So I pulled that out of the wet sand with the AT Pro. I was pretty surprised because I can never usually get anything. But it's uh looks like a copper penny. Like another one. Yep, it's copper, 1979, so. Copper's up here. It's looking. Huh. What is that? Ah! 2008 Chuck E. Cheese. Where a kid can be a kid. Alright, see what else we can find. Alright, after full digging, 50 bottle caps. Here's the highlight of the day so far, the evening. A beat up 1994 quarter. At least we're getting paid. Sun setting. Days are getting shorter. Hopefully, we'll find something else. All right, there's something in this clump. Oh, there we go. I saw that. You can always know there's a coin if you get a good root, circular root clump. Just a regular Lincoln. Shut up. You can squeak. Alright. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I came over by the lake looking for a sinker. And... I got one the first try. Look at that sucker. Big old sinker. Well, hey, uh, metal detecting fans. Um, I just got out and I did my last dig of the day. And it was kind of dark out, so I couldn't really film it out there. But I believe what I got here is a, uh, it's definitely a silver ring. I almost didn't dig it. It's kind of funny. I, I, I can't really tell, but uh, it is there is a stamp on the inside. Can't read it right now. And then who knows about the stone. But uh, I would say that's a good genuine find for the last one of the day. I like it. Yeah, there's some stamp in there. I can't can't tell what it is. 
But uh, that was cool.